Tesla shareholders have questions. Of course, they do. All shareholders of all companies have questions, but Tesla, uniquely uh, among a handful of companies, employs a website called Say Technologies, where you can ask your question and you can vote on other people's questions. The number of shares you have counts as the number of votes you get and determines how important the question is. Every quarter, there are some pretty interesting questions that come up and a handful that are not quite as good. Of course, there's going to be those, but I'm going to answer as many of them as I can for you because who knows which ones will be answered. Let's get into it. I'm Brian. Welcome to Futuraza. So here we are looking at them. Tesla Q3 2024 earnings Q and A. If you've got questions and answers, hey man, here we go. Is Tesla still on track to deliver the more affordable model next year, as mentioned by Elon earlier, and how does it align with the AI and product roadmap? Well, I answered this question on Randy Kirk's channel yesterday. Uh, go over there for a longer answer, but the short answer is yes, absolutely they are. We have heard that reiterated a number of times. And how it aligns is that they're going to have more vehicles on the road capable of becoming robo-taxis. That's a good thing. Get as many units out there as you can so that when that's available, the upside potential becomes tremendous. When can we expect uh, the 25,000 non-robo-taxi regular car model? I don't think you can. I don't think 25 is necessarily something that's going to happen. Because it's a great car, because it's got a lot of features in it other cars don't. Because $25,000 and cheaper cars aren't very common for many brands. They don't really exist. There are some cars that have, oh, well, we have twenty one, twenty two thousand 22000 for a Corolla. This ain't a Corolla. Even if they made a Corolla, it'd be better than a Corolla. It'd be safer than a Corolla. It gets better mileage than a Corolla. It doesn't need to happen, and if it still qualifies for the $7,500 credit, anything over $32,500 would be a $25,000 car. We'll see if that remains. Um, the only reason they would really need to do this is to get enough um, a potentially autonomous vehicles on the road, but it's not on the roadmap right now, is my understanding. What are we doing to alleviate long waiting times at service centers? Nothing. That's what I'm sure they'll say it's going to be some better system processing, tracking, triaging of concerns. But the short answer is nothing. They let go a lot of people from the service centers and they're doing their best. When will I mean, I guess the answer is uh, we'll make the cars slightly more reliable so you don't need services often. But that is what they're doing. When will Tesla incorporate Grok, Grok and X uh, into the vehicles? when it's time. I gave a longer answer to this over on Randy Kirk's channel. And I also answered the Tesla Roadster question over there. My answer to that is, I think that once Juniper refresh is done, the engineering team will have headspace. And there's really nothing else on the menu right now. So they could work on that. All the other models will have been refreshed in the last couple of years. Now's a good time. Robotaxi's not imminent. They've got some headspace. Update on the semi next stage of growth. And when will FSD be ready? I assume they mean FSD for the semi. Uh, the semi pilot production line is producing vehicles that are going out into the world, DHL, Pepsi, and others. We've seen a Costco one and a Walmart one. I don't know if those, I, I think the Walmart one was owned by Walmart and the Costco one wasn't. It was just a, a outside company. They're getting out there. Factory will be done first half of next year, probably. And then they can increase production. The design appears locked and they work. What's the plan for 2025? All the things we just said. Hmm. Can we get more details about RoboTaxi, including how will Tesla deploy the fleet? Will it start with RoboTaxi, then move on to a subscription model if you own your own? Well, it looks like the, the uh, personal one will come before the RoboTaxi as soon as FSD is ready, like level five ready. They will allow you to enter your cars into the fleet and get them out there. So the subscription model question is a good one. I would like an answer to that. Will the RoboTaxi include FSD? I've seen a lot of comments saying, well, uh, RoboTaxi without FSD is not anything. It's a paperweight. They would have to include it. And that's true. But a mega pack without a service plan is also not a mega pack. You have to buy the service plan. Commercial buyers know that sometimes the software is an add-on and it's required. So I think there's real odds that it won't be 25 or 30,000 with FSD that maybe you would be able to buy it for eight or 12 or 20,000 more, or you could just subscribe and then you could decide 
the subscription price is better for what you do than just buying it outright. Will hardware three be capable of level five FSD? I love it. Yes, it will. The example I gave on Randy's channel was doom was not designed to run on anything except a PC, but now we can run it on fax machines. We can run it on anything that's got a chip. You can run it on a home pregnancy test. Someone did. So once you've got it complete, you can figure out uh, how to optimize it to run on something that's not as advanced. So anyone saying that definitively hardware three can't do it, doesn't know what they're talking about and is guessing pessimistically at that, I would add. Elon mentioned unsupervised FSD in California and Texas next year. Does that mean regulators have agreed to it in the entire state for existing hardware three and four vehicles? Uh, the state doesn't care what the hardware is. The state doesn't understand that part of it. They leave it to the provider to make that determination. If Tesla's made the determination that it works, it works. That's not the obstacle. There are obstacles. That's not one of them. What's the expected timeline on Robovan? The Robovan, I do not think has a timeline at this time. It doesn't have a use case at this time. Uh, I think it would be a fairly low priority. And I think it would be a whole lot easier to build than any of the smaller passenger vehicles. The rules and regulations surrounding shuttle buses are very different. Um, so, and I think it'd be very easy to build compared to a small passenger car. There is no timeline. When will Optimus ship? Ooh. I've had discussions with roboticists. It could ship today. It won't ship today. They want it to be more autonomous. If you wanted something like the Boston Dynamic Robot Spot, a little dog, it could, you could, you can buy one. There are some obstacles to buying one, but they can be purchased, but then you have to program it to make it actually do something. Optimus could ship in that configuration today, probably be more useful than that. That's not good enough. They want it to do actual, um, perform in, in functions that it, that it is not ready for today. So the beauty is the factory to build it will go up much quicker than anything else. It doesn't require the same kinds of extreme heavy machines that you see with something like an automobile. Will the all wheel drive Cybertruck qualify for the federal tax credit in the near future? Yes. Yes, it will. It qualified in 2023. The rules for 2024 and five are only slightly more strict. The materials can come from any number of the U S's trade partners, which would be a free trade agreement. There are 20 countries plus the U S if the lithium, cobalt, nickel, whatever it is you may be using, uh, come from any of those countries, it's fine. And we know the batteries themselves come from Texas. So it is probably just a matter of paperwork. Good time to mention you could subscribe if you like. Really helps out. Do you have any plans to expand Tesla insurance in more states? Yes. Yes. When will it be available in Florida? To be determined. Insurance is very tricky. Every state has their own regulators and their own insurance commissioner. It's very difficult to expand. As we've seen, they're trying to get into all 50 states. It's just a pain in the butt. Can we get an update on the lower price vehicle models that are supposed to go into production next year? No, no, because we want you to keep buying three and Y until then. Uh, we don't know what shape they'll be. We don't know what the actual number of doors or I mean, we don't know anything. They're keeping it very close, uh, closely guarding that one because, come on, man, you gotta, you gotta keep buying our cars. Some clarity on the energy generation and storage business in light of the rapidly increasing power demand. Quick clarification. If you look at all of the elements on a, on a grid, the battery is not listed as generation. It's listed as load. And, uh, Charlie explained that to me. Thank you, Charlie. Uh, long time viewer. Uh, it takes power. It consumes power. All they're really doing is shaving peaks. Take any overproduction that exists, hang on to it, put it back out when it's needed. The total nameplate capacity doesn't increase by having you know, grid scale storage or any, any storage at all. Nameplate remains the same. So what we're going to need to address the increase of power demand for things like AI data centers, for things like, you know, more electric cars is more generation, more actual generation is what's needed. 
What's the status of Giga Mexico? Well, I know this isn't one of you guys, because you guys know the answer. It's on hold. It's on hold. It's been on hold since the beginning. I'm not confident that Elon actually stepped foot on the ground. We know he flew over the site with the president of, or the, uh, the mayor of the region, the governor of the region. But I don't know if he actually saw it from the ground. Got a kind of deal on it that you don't pass up. It's on hold. Elon had said, well, we have to wait and see who wins the election. But he's saying that if Trump wins, that it would be that there would then be a block on vehicles from Mexico into the U.S. But I don't think these were vehicles that were meant for the U.S. anyway. I think these vehicles were meant for Central and South America and the Asian uh, trade partners. Mexico has something like 70 free trade agreements. Could be 69. Nice. Will Tesla shareholders get priority when it comes to investing in SpaceX? No. No, they will not. First of all, SpaceX itself probably will never go public. It does not need to raise the funds. Starlink could go public at some point. That's been hinted at in the past. But Tesla shareholders would not get a preference because that would be unfair to the shareholders of SpaceX that already exist, the investors there. The obligation to the investors at SpaceX is to maximize shareholder returns. If it goes public and you and I get better prices on the stock at the expense of other investors, um, that would be a lawsuit because they are separate companies. Is Tesla insurance profitable? And are you facing challenges with expansion? I would like to know if it's profitable. I assume it is, but I don't know. And yes, nothing but challenges expanding. Will they build LFPs internally? They bought the equipment to do so. It seems that that is the plan. The equipment was purchased from CATL. It was not old equipment, but idle equipment. It is being installed in Nevada with the help of CATL. What is the status of delivering Cybertruck wheel caps and installing off-road light bars? Slow. It is slow. Those are things that are happening. You can. Some people are reporting that they get these emails that say, hey, congratulations, you've been selected to get the wheel covers that you paid for eight months ago. I don't think that's winning, but okay. Um, and I think we're, we'll do a couple more. What are current miles per critical intervention of FST versus where they were six months ago? I don't know if you can handle the data needed to come up with a quality answer. I don't know that it tracks every disengagement. I don't know if it needs to. I think it's still sampling them and working on those. I think the computer, the neural net is doing its thing in the background. I don't know that this data exists. And determining a critical intervention from a non-critical intervention, I think would require a human touch. Neural nets probably can't process that the same way, because if they could, they wouldn't have needed the intervention in the first place. And by intervention, I assume you mean um, disengagement. An intervention is when you like put on a blinker or nudge the accelerator a bit. A disengagement is when you take control. Tesla plan on resuming vehicle growth for 25. And what would those projections be? It's tough to say. If they're going to retool every Model Y line, there's going to be a dip in Model Y production. But if they're going to also build an intermediate compact based on the three or Y, it could increase sales. There's idle capacity in Texas and Berlin. Those could both produce substantially more vehicles. Public support for polarizing positions led to a negative perception of the brand and division among consumers and investors. Does the board plan to ensure his political engagement doesn't affect Tesla's core mission and protect shareholder value and brand integrity? I mean, no, right? I don't think the board has any plans like that, do they? I would be very surprised if they do. I don't, I don't think that's a thing that's going to happen. Any FSD licensing deals coming? You got to wonder, right? I wouldn't be surprised if there are several that are close. I don't know if we could hear an announcement. I don't know if they would want to say that anything is in the works. So I think the answer is that there are, but that they haven't been announced. And I think that's a good thing 
on both on both fronts. I don't think they need to tip their hands. I don't think those other automakers want to concede that they need Tesla's help, but I think it's wise to line up. Start lining up now. Ford was the first to jump on Nax, the charging standard, and it got them in first position when it came to rolling out to their vehicles. So whoever jumps first will have a great opportunity. Yeah, I think that's enough. If you want me to cover more of these, I can. Everybody likes, subscribe. You know what you're doing. Stay tuned and juicy. And I cannot wait to hear from you clever robots on the flippity flop, but check it out. If you have questions that aren't here, please ask them. I would uh, consider, you know, I would consider answering them. So let's do that.